We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Guardians on Patrol, a podcast about everything related to Destiny. I'm your host, Josh and Lovely, and of course, joining me is Noah Schoblum. Hello. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Good. That was a pretty great intro. Thank you. I made it myself. I just yeah. kind of snapped it together. But um, we were supposed to have a third, and I know it's like the first episode, and that's weird to say, but I, I don't know where the gentleman is, so... Down. And uh, <laughs> for the future listeners, that sound clip will play every time one of us is gone. Um, but so uh, look forward to that. Look forward to hearing that like a million times. Um, but yeah, this is a podcast about just everything related to Dusty. This is not a patrol podcast, as nope. the name would uh, have you believe. We just talk about one-shotting dregs on Earth for an hour. That's oh, not yeah. what it's about. Um, but there's not too much to talk about this week because for the most part it's just been like Iron Banana, Trials of Osiris, yeah. and uh, some other stuff. And then we think there's like a there's a new event maybe next week. I think something's happening next week. Uh, I think so. Yeah, but we'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and you know, it's it's sad that I don't have a news bump, but actually first... Something that uh, I had talked about doing on the show, and I'm mm. excited because I love space, and I think a lot of people who play Destiny like space and space related. It seems things. fitting. Um, I wanted to do this thing on the show where we do a space fact of the week, just little interesting tidbits about our solar system and the universe and things that our listeners might find interesting. So I have a sound bump for that. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. And uh, that is the voice of Carl Sagan, by the way. <clears throat> but because we're on Earth, and a lot of what we do in Destiny takes place on Earth, I thought I would do Earth as our first uh, space fact of the week, and specifically where Earth gets its name from. So mm -hmm. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that is not named after a greco-roman god and it actually comes from uh, a english slash german name that means the ground uh mm. and uh in uh, german it's erde and there's some other english words called eartha and it's kind of combined and that's why we call our planet earth so that is your space fact of uh the week and i know it's super nerdy i didn't think i didn't think of that <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's something know. every day. Yeah, yeah. This is amazing. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna play that okay. forever. Uh, anyway, um, never leave us. Yeah. So, like I said before, there's not like a ton of news really going on in Destiny this week. So I guess um because Iron Banner's been going on, and as of this recording, there's only like one day left. Yeah. Which is tomorrow, Monday. And uh, mm. I just and I got all my characters to rank five. I don't know how far you got. And I know you uh, played yeah. a lot. Yeah, I played a lot. Uh, it was, yeah, I got all mine to rank five too. Nice. Okay. Did you do that today or last night? I did last night. Oh, okay. My uh, Titan was my last. Oh, your Titan was your last. One. Okay. See, so yep. I thought that was your second character for some reason. Mm -hmm. Well, that's no, good to know. Yeah, my warlock was super easy to level up. Yeah. Yeah, it took mm. my hunter like. That little bit, like that one night that we played. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Last night. Yeah. I didn't really get anything incredibly compelling. I really like the auto rifle, though. I don't know how you feel about Hakan's hatchet. I haven't really used it that much. Yeah. I just don't really like auto rifles that much. Mm. See, uh, it's funny, because when I first started playing the game, I was all about auto rifles. Oh, I was all about hand cannons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never, I see, I never liked hand cannons until I got an IS Luna recently. Oh. That has like explosive rounds on it, and I'm like, this thing's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the first one that I really dug, but 
Um, and then I have like a 310 Hawk Moon, and I'm like, this is kind of cool, but I feel yeah. like it's not as good as people were saying it was back in the day, where it was just like dominating the meta. I haven't tried Hawk Moon since the uh, update. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have it before the patch, I don't think. So. Yeah. Or I bought it the week I bought it was the week Zer sold it, which was like the week after. Yeah. DTK, and then I didn't use it. I literally just bought it to have it. So I was like, yes, <laughs> now I have one, you know. Um, yeah. But then, yeah, and then it got nerfed, and that's when I was like, maybe I should try it. And it's still a good gun. I just don't think it's the like meta dominating gun that everybody likes. Yeah. And then there's you know last word, which yeah. And then there's using. last word, which is oh my god. I didn't tell you. So remember I got that primary engram? Yeah. The exotic one. So remember mm -hmm. I made the joke, ha ha, watch, it'll be a hawk moon. Dude, it was a hawk moon. Oh my god, was it a 310 or TNT? Yeah, it was a 310. But I already had a 310 hawk moon, so I just broke yeah, it. Yeah, infusion fuel. Yeah, well, I I was going to use it as infusion fuel, and then I logged back in and saw it, and I was like, oh, I'll just break this. And as soon as I broke it, I went, crap. <laughs> I <could've laughs> broke it over your knee. could have put this in my Hakan's hatchet. It's like, oh, yeah. But, yeah, um, Iron Banner, I didn't really get it. I got so many ghosts that I just didn't care about at all. I got too many ghosts. I know. I got five or six. From just this Iron Banner? Yeah, and then I got, oh the, my God. And then I got the Trials ghost. Oh, I yeah. It's like, oh, so many ghosts. I don't want them. <laughs> Take them all away. Take them away from me. Yeah, um, which is sad because the last Iron Banner I did, I got a 320 Iron Banner ghost, and then I got a 320... Um, a rocket launcher with grenades on it. I got the like a Ooh. Freedom Art stand. It's the I haven't even seen the Iron Banner uh, rocket launcher. Oh, it's pretty good actually. Oh. Well, yeah. it's also pretty good because it's three twenty. But oh yeah, yeah. Is that what? It's... No, Freedom Art stand is the machine gun, right? The uh, sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But um, I didn't. I didn't really get that. I didn't get like a three twenty drop or anything. Not this time. I didn't. I got like the, I got the PlayStation exclusive cloak, which I was excited about. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. I didn't see. I'm yeah. probably gonna play some more tomorrow, mm. or tonight. I'm not sure because after I, you finish your raid. Uh, I'm I'm never gonna finish that raid. Yeah. I already know <laughs> that's not happening. Um, but, because I do, I want the hunter cloak. And I want some of the other stuff, and uh, which which club do you want the PlayStation exclusive one or the one that any like of them? I don't have any of them. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, this was the first time I'd used a hunter in Iron Banner. Oh. This was the first Iron Banner where I had characters that could go into like all three could go into Iron Banner. So. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I took them all in there. I didn't even reach rank five last last Iron Banner. I didn't even try. Oh, why not? I don't know. I was like, I was like, I was like new to Iron Banner, so I didn't uh, really try that much. Yeah, like, I liked it when it was Clash. I thought yeah. it was, I thought it was good. Um, I'd like them to do some other modes next time, like Iron Banner Rift or. That oh yeah, Rift Iron Rift would be good. Yeah. Rumble Rumble would never work, and no. I don't think they should ever do it. Rumble would be a nightmare. Although I found out, I didn't know this, but Rumble, if you come in the top three, you technically won. It I counts as a win. Yeah. Let's we'll see what else we have. Rift. Um, I guess scor uh, Skirmish. Salvage and, elim and Elimination, maybe. Yeah, but then it would just feel like Trials. Yep, it would. That's the problem. So, yeah. um, I think Rift would be interesting. As a game mode, because I, I like it a lot, but nobody, like, when do I get like, a crucible of people, nobody really plays it. Do you like doing uh, the runner on Rift? Uh, I just, I usually solo queue into it, so I don't Yeah. No, yeah, I, I've i dunked maybe once, hmm. I think, and it was on, like, Bannerfall. I went under the yeah, thing. Yeah, Bannerfall is super side. easy for me to dunk. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I would think it would be interesting. I would like to see that. Yeah, just to see. And I'd like to see them bring some of the classic maps back because, from what I understand, some of those maps don't show up. Like, no. Like Cauldron never shows up, and I really like that map. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that map. Is it called Black Cauldron, or is it just called Cauldron? I think it's just Cauldron. Okay. Yeah, I really like that map a lot, yeah. and uh, yeah, it never po it never pops up anymore because it was like a dark below map or something. Yeah. And um, it just got taken out of the rotation. And then they've like freaking Exodus Blue's always been in the rotation. So <laughs> take this out. God, man. I hate Exodus Blue. <laughs> yeah. I liked it at first. Now I'm not a huge fan of it. After Trials. Yeah, for sure. Learn, learn to hate it. After Trials, I did learn to hate it. I was like, I don't want to <laughs> do this anymore. This isn't fun. Um, Just do for bounties. Yeah. Um, and uh, before I guess we go moving on to questions and stuff because like i said there's not a ton of news because uh bungie i guess officially doesn't get back from their break until january 29th is when the yeah. next uh I, yeah the next weekly update comes out so and which is oddly enough the same day as pax so i really think there's gonna be something at the end of the month right now. yeah so i don't know about that but see. although uh we were talking about just a second ago that we think something is going to happen next week. Yeah, probably. New Year's thing. The weekly so reset. Think, yeah, so there was a, um, and there's a post on Reddit about it. It arrives January 7th is when we get the 15 strange coins in Modes of Light. Right, and then um, we're supposed to get like an emblem if we play between then. Yeah. Which makes me think there's some kind of event going on. I don't think they're just going to be like, here's some strange coins, like, Bye. Yeah. Um, I thought I was just looking for it. I saw that they had data mined um, these things. I think I'm looking at this like database thing. Um, that they had data mined these. Uh, oh, here they are. Things come um, the dawning consumables. So, hmm. and I'd assume the dawning was some sort of New Year's event, but we haven't seen it yet. So I'm guessing that. The minute yeah. Iron Banner goes away, this is going to show up because they data mine these consumables. Like it says, uh, the dawning from Shax. It says a missive mm -hmm. from Lord Shax in honor of the dawning. And then there's one from Kate Six, one from Petra, Zavala. Is that is that one where we use the uh, box of raisins that nobody knows about? <laughs> I don't think we're ever using the box of raisins. <laughs> yeah, they're just sweat on Halloween. Yeah, there are all these people that are like, what if you keep all three boxes of raisins and then it... I have all three. Yeah, I think I have two, but yeah. I just kept them because they're funny. I didn't keep them because I think anything's going to happen. I'm kind of I'm going to keep them just to see if anything is announced or anything will happen with them. <laughs> I don't like turning into one of those sleeper conspiracy people. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. And it was like the easiest gun to get. Yeah, it was so... It was like not that hard. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I have to take. You should remind me that on uh, th on Thursday, it'll be Sleeper Day again, so people can do the first firewall if they haven't done it yet. Oh yeah. So remember, people, if you're listening to this and it's not Thursday yet, or it is Thursday, then you need to get on that because you can get your sleeper simulant. Go and get your sleeper. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there's all these like it's sort of similar to the Halloween thing i think where you walked around and talked to everyone in the tower and they gave you like a thing yeah. because it seems like there's a consumable from like here's one from eris one from rahul one from the speaker one from ikora um yeah but they don't i say can see that they are yeah it just says a dawning message from master rahul like a letter from the speaker written hmm. to commemorate the dawning like it doesn't say what it is um but I assume it will probably be some sort of thing with, like, you know, like the way the candy worked or something. We'll, yeah. And then we'll be able to buy some sort of, um, like, cosmetic item or something with silver. I don't know. We'll see. Something we'll see with silver. Happens. Always something with silver. It's always something with silver. I actually have some silver just sitting in my account right now. You had, like, you had like what, 1,200? 1,200, yeah. Um, because some of it had... Uh, just kind of accumulated and um oh blake is here <laughs> yeah oh, i just saw that i might wanna... actually just get it hang on we're gonna call him i know this is weird on the on the show listen this is the first episode it's like whatever. it's like we're taking callers now yeah <laughs> one day <laughs> maybe he's gonna be like, we're gonna be like we're recording right now it's like what <laughs> let's see if he picks up i'm curious this will be see. funny 
if not either way like uh, you, should, you should get like the uh, like the revive noise from oh man <laughs> i should uh, i don't know what it sounds like um it's like the it's like a whoosh or something i don't yeah <laughs> that'd be great though i have to, I have to do that well i didn't think i'd be <laughs> okay he's coming i didn't think okay, i'd like... um, be you know doing this yeah yeah, reviving someone into the show. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I uh, I'm kind of excited. I know it's probably not gonna be like that big a deal. Like it'll be no. Yeah, it'll be like one of those things. But whatever, it's something. Not like to do. those masks. Yeah. Like if you upgraded them or whatever. Yeah, I never got the uh, I never got the skull mask. Did you ever get one? No, I never. Well, you had to buy that with silver, I thought, or the packages to get that one. No, you could get them. Normally. Oh. Um, because I know I got all of them except that one, and then I know there's some people that got like all of them except for like the, the Cryptarch one, and some people didn't get the yeah. Atheon one. Yeah. So. I didn't get the Atheon one. Oh, I got that one like last. Mm. And then you. I got like. The tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I got Zer, which I was really happy about. Yeah. Oh, Blake, are you here now? Yes, sir. Hello, oh, hello. he's here. <laughs> Blake is... It's in the, I don't know how to say your last name. <laughs> I asked. It's, it's pretty phonetic. It's in Thaler. Okay, it's in Thaler. Okay, it's cool. Thaler. This is actually the first time we've spoken and... Thing. By the way, we're recording right now. We're, like, in the middle of yeah. the show. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured, I figured. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess I can play it again. Uh, so we we have a sound effect when one of us isn't here, and okay. uh, I can play it for you really quick. Partying down. And uh, <laughs> we played that for you, but then when we were getting you back in, I was like, "Crap! I don't have the revive sound. That would have been great." <laughs> oh, that would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. But um, basically, right now we were talking about uh, Iron Banner. Like, did you end up doing Iron Banner? Did you get anything? Yeah, I, I played a, a first day and second day, but then I was, I was on vacation, so I didn't get much done. I think I'm only ranked two. Oh, okay. Well, good news. <laughs> the last day, it takes like <laughs> three badges. Yeah. For real. Um, and then uh, we were also talking about that um, the dawning, which we think is happening next week. Because we're supposed to get the 15 strange coins, and then we're supposed to get the mm -hmm. uh, emblem. And there mm -hmm. was some thing called the dawning that was data mines. So we were kind of talking about what we think that could be hmm I, I was figuring when i heard about the emblem i was figuring it was just something to pick us up hold us there for a while yeah just like so, year two yeah i couldn't figure out anything like first thought was that it was like a, a stress test maybe switching servers but not for the mm -hmm. amount of days that they're doing it yeah, but, but I didn't. I didn't actually read anything about the the dawning, so it's yeah, news. Well, <laughs> it's weird because no one's really talking about it. Like um, in the new patch, this thing, and there was a Reddit post about it, but then nobody really, everybody kind of ignored it. But mm -hmm. if, if you go on like uh, the Planet Destiny database, they had data mined a bunch of new stuff in the in the SRL, um, like patch, like new mm -hmm. items and stuff, and some of the new items are. Uh, like the dawning consumable from Shax, and there's one from Cade Six, and one from Petra, and one from Ikor Ray, and the Speaker, and Aeris. Huh. And they're all just say, like, a letter from the Speaker written to commemorate the dawning. They don't actually say anything um, what it is, yeah. about what it is. So we were assuming that it's going to be some sort of festival of, the, festival of the Lost kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we're not sure. Uh, I'm sure we'll have to buy something with silver, but. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's a given. <laughs> yeah, it's given now. Yeah, but I have some silver left up, left over right now, so I'm gonna save it and see. Yeah, what I, I wasted the rest of my silver trying to get the uh, the uh, sparrow. I can't think of what it's called right now. Oh yeah, I didn't buy any sparrows actually. I didn't. I'm gonna buy more silver when I see something that I actually want. Right. Like I can't live without. I kind of want the rock on one the air guitar oh yeah but i'm like what if something comes out during <laughs> the dawning nice. that's like super cool and i need to get it so i haven't i haven't i mean that's it. always going to be the case though that's true yeah. but i but if nothing comes out in the dawning that's cool and i'll get it that's yeah it's kind of my mentality but we'll see i want the, I want, I want the slow clap too <laughs> yeah that was just great i also want a radio wheel uh 
where I can select all my because it's it kind of sucks that like I can only select one emote at a time. I have to oh, like, yeah. Or like it'd be cool if I could remap all of them or something, but. Um, yeah. Know. They well they did say they were working on it. Yeah. But that, they do keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, that'll be cool. Um, and that's what thing, the dawning's about. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> dawning of a new age. <laughs> the dawning of emotes. emotes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the other thing we were talking about was, um, and now I just totally forgot about it. <laughs> I did too. Um, <laughs> it's killing me now. It's going to kill me. Oh. Iron banana. Yeah, and then the dawning. But I can't even... Was there a segue between oh, that? Oh my god, it's it's gonna kill me now. This is nuts. Um. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Anyway, uh, I think because we we basically are not. There's not much to talk about. No. Nope. Well, I guess we could say nope. what. Now I remember. Oh. <laughs> I remember what it was. It was PAX. Because oh, we were yeah. saying that Bungie's on break until January 29th. It's just when their their next weekly update comes out. Right. And that's the same day PAX South starts. So we were saying like what uh yeah. like what like could they announce something there? Like something like a little bit bigger than SRL yeah. or <laughs> SRL esque, you know. Wait, was SRL only on PlayStation, right? No, it was on Xbox. Was that okay? Yeah. I never Yeah. I don't remember. Blake, do you play do you play on PlayStation or Xbox? I'm on the Xbox right now. Okay. Well, then we have representation. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and I definitely experienced SRL. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Because we're, uh, me and Noah here, we play on the PlayStation together sometimes. And we're like. Sometimes, dude. We've played like sometimes. nonstop. Sometimes. I know. I think the last three or four days, it's just been like Iron Banner, Teams of Six. Yeah. Like, oh, that, yeah. That Teams of Six fun. was super fun. It was super fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm working towards it. I'm working towards getting to that PS4, getting more competitive, but for now, Xbox. Yeah, I got you. Mm. Yeah, I have an Xbox, but I don't I don't own Destiny on it, and I don't play on it, because most of my friends have PS4s, mm -hmm. so it's like I would just play there, and they, I don't really have a reason to play Destiny on my Xbox. If I was like a streamer and played on both, then I would, I'd be like, okay, this makes sense to me, because some of my viewers would want to play but I'm, I have a hard enough time rating every week on my one console. I can't do it. Right. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah, my my one friend he streams and he's been talking about getting the PS4. So I'm like, well, I guess I have to get a PS4 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, ow, this thing hurts my ear, man. Um, but yeah. Sorry, I have like um, I have a splitter and one of the head. I have like a a bud headphone over my or under my like big headphones because the buds hooked into my sound like the phone with the soundboard so i can hear when the sounds end oh. and stuff and it hurts so i had to move <laughs> move it around um yeah and i was gonna say we could talk about the pax thing but that actually is goes into some of our reader mail so i figured unless anybody else has anything to say about uh iron banana or I guess we could talk about trials. Do you, uh, Blake, do you do trials? I do. Um, I'm liking this year where I don't have to win necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's more of a casual thing. But um, when I do get in a game with uh, my my friend Ignite, we we go hard. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. We I've been pl we've been playing trials a yeah. little bit, and this week I didn't. I don't think it was that great. I, didn't, I don't know if it was no. the map. It was definitely the map. Yeah. I didn't like the map at all because of that one hiding pl uh, place where like, the, where, 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 like the sun was hitting it perfectly. Oh, the sun spot, you see it. as yeah. we called it. Yeah, there was that um, oh. There was that spot where you could, it was like in the, it's like the back left almost, and you're outside yeah. and you could look through the door. And if someone was looking at you from inside, they just couldn't see you because it was so bright. And it was, what it was what worst. was the map? Was it Burning Shrine? I'm assuming. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was Burning Shrine. Um, yeah, I I wasn't a big fan of the map, but yeah, like you said, it's nice that you don't actually have to win anymore. You mm -hmm. just have to finish. But uh, I didn't actually get anything that great. Um, Dang. Did I get anything? I don't know. Last week I got Jones. reflection some, so I was like, okay, at least I walked out of this with something. But oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I can't. That. I'm not really working towards anything with trials, though. Like, true. N- the guns aren't really that appealing to me. Right. I never. I never try to go flawless. I just go for the for the bounties. Like, if we're like eight and two, that's fine. Yeah. I I like the mode a lot, just because it reminds me a lot of like Counter Strike, and that's mm-hmm. sort of why I like the elimination mm-hmm. mode. It also kind of reminds me of um, Gears of War One. I was super obsessed with the first Gears of War multiplayer and like traditional war zone was like you if you die you're dead you know right so yeah that's part of why I like playing trials because it is very it's very hardcore it's very like I have to focus and do call outs and stuff and it's it like changes the way you play crucible because otherwise it's just like we're jumping in and having fun or like oh I'm trying to finish this bounty so I'm just gonna use my shotgun for like Two right. minutes, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Just go in there with Gallahorn. Exactly. Whatever they wanted that to was do. Funny. I I wish he would have got that. I know. I so I so I so wish I would have got heavy ammo. Yeah. But. He was uh trying to get. We were in a game on Bannerfall. We were losing. Iron we were Man, losing like, really, spice so much. Losing really bad. And he's like, whatever. I'm gonna take my Gallahorn and we're gonna get heavy ammo. We're gonna see <laughs> if I can get a kill. He never got the heavy ammo. That no. Was sad. Dang. I wanted to see this experiment take place. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then just see like like see the other kids be like, he's using Gallahorn to kill me. Wow. I wonder how many people would actually notice, because I know like I just spam that X to like respawn. I think I would notice yeah. the wolf pack rounds, but if I was like a year two guardian, I don't even know if they know what a Gallahorn shot looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like that in Thorn. We ran into yeah. Thorn uh, trials. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was that so was... weird, but it was like so smart. And, yeah, it was like yeah, it was like a support. I think we won, but yeah, I think we did. Um, but they still put up a really good fight. Yeah, they had oh, one, yeah. they had one person basically running as a support, and they ran Thorn, and that person would basically just kind of harass and kind of throw you off because all of a sudden you're like, ah, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hit by Thorn. What's going on? And then you'd be kind of confused and like try to run away or something and the other two would take advantage of the confusion. It was smart. Yeah. It was kind it was, of cool. It was, a, it was a smart move, definitely. Yeah. Um, I guess if no one else has anything to say about trials, we can actually move on to our questions. Like I said, uh, listeners, it's probably going to be like a shorter show just because there's like not a lot going on at the moment. But um, we have some good questions that will that'll, you know, kind of uh, carry us through make the show a little bit longer and one that's related to this whole like 29th possible announcement thing <laughs> all right okay well i have a sound clip for uh the mail time of course you do checking 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 perfect did I play it I, I it did yeah, yeah it did. did i forgot i took the thing out of my ear and i pressed it and i went oh did it not play and then I, okay yes we'll that, is the, uh, with that checking, is the checking, post- checking. yes that is the postmaster <laughs> Um, so our first question comes from Francis Jose, and, uh, actually before I start this question, listeners, you can go to guardiansonpatrol.com, we have a contact thing, uh, page there on the top bar, and, uh, you can send us questions, or you can just email us directly at guardiansonpatrol at gmail.com, or, uh, tweet at us, our Twitter is at guardianspatrol, and, uh, we'll read your questions on the air. We have a bunch of questions already because freaking Noah yeah. behind my back was just going around getting questions. I'm like, man, yeah. you're the man. <laughs> he backstabbed you <laughs> in, in a good way. Yeah. It was not even a backstab. It's like you <sighs> you came up and just handed me candy and I didn't yeah. expect it. <laughs> yeah. a I think that's a su- it's a surprise. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> Opposite of back. Here's the that. thing, though. I actually like raisins, so if you gave me a box of raisins, I, I would too. actually be excited. Yeah, everyone they're... hates raisins. Yeah, right. well, it's weird because they're like, you like grapes? Yeah. What about raisins? No. You're like, it's the uh, same thing. Uh, <laughs> it's always that. I like same thing with like pickles and cucumbers. I'm like, my uh, girlfriend uh, is the same way. She loves ketchup, cucumbers. Ketchup, tomato, like she all hates of that. Pickles. <laughs> She's yeah. giving me this really angry look right now. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> okay. She just shook her head at me. Guardian down. Yeah. <laughs> Guardian down. Yeah, where's that sound clip? <laughs> uh, I think I think we all need these sound hang clips. On. Hang on. Guardian down. There you go. <laughs> oh, and then uh, we'll throw in a Shax real quick. This is amazing. 
right. <laughs> there's, 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 there, there's too many of these. I'm at, yeah, I'm adding more as the weeks go on. We'll have more. They have like okay. five total right now. So, um, But anyway, like I said, the first question comes from uh, Francis Jose. He says, did they go too far in nerfing Hammer of Soul? Tracking doesn't work at all, and the explosion radius is a joke. Um, and I have experience with this because I played some of the... Yeah. Uh, I played some uh, Sun Singer, right? Sunbreaker. No, Sunbreaker. God, there's so many, like, just... Um, so I played sun. Sunbreaker a bit before they nerfed it, and it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was unreal. It was unreal. Like, uh, I was playing a... Like a, a uh, I think it was a rift match and I was on um, what's that one map where it's like the two bridges in the middle and you can kind of jump between them. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I kind of like that one. I like that map too, but I, yeah. I was on one of the bridges and on the other bridge they were doing the, like the rift was showing up and I popped yeah. my super and threw one hammer oh, and I got a triple <laughs> kill <laughs> and I, oh, I man. never even saw the people I killed. I just threw it over there and was like, maybe it'll hit something. <laughs> it was like a triple <laughs> kill. It was insane. So yes, before the, the patch, Sunbreaker was extremely powerful. Yeah. yeah. And, now, and now it's not really. Yeah. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm on um, Guardian GG right now, and I was trying to find. Um, because I saw this question before. I was trying to find, like, maybe stats from, like, the last 60 days or something, but I'm not mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. seeing anything. Oddly enough, and this is going to be so weird, uh, Gallahorn. Yep, I saw that too. Fifty-six percent win rate on Sunbreakers. What? Yeah, what? I know. <laughs> I was super confused with that too. That's so weird. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Armamentarium makes sense, but yeah, yeah, that's what I run. Yeah, the uh, I don't understand that, like Galahorn, but wait, the number one for uh, the Armamentarium is a year one. Oh yeah. They're using year one, and then and then third place it's year two. Well, that's what? just because well, because it separates them on yeah. Guardian GG. So if you combine, if you averaged out the win rates for both of those, it's probably yeah. like fifty-two percent win rate. Yeah. You know, yeah. but um, yeah, it's just because they because I think if you go down further too, there's some other. Well, yeah, and it's too. like, like if those people are like maybe like like there are four people are, are using or whatever, and they're really good, then it'll show up high, right? <laughs> for the win rate, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if those well, like four it, people are using it, yeah. Are the stats coming from um like Iron Banner? Or is it coming from uh, across this all is just crucible? Across, um, this is control, oh, this is control specifically. But Iron Banner. So like year one gear is still viable. Wait, I, um yeah, I uh Icebreaker's number one on in Iron Banner for <laughs> Sunbreakers, yeah. All for K D and it's being used by less than one yeah, percent. Yeah. That's really strange to me. But I see Mida right under it, and I can tell Good you I used Mida like the whole time. <laughs> you were, you, it was great. like you were insane last night. Oh yeah, I was like you were like three point ohs, like KDs yeah. and stuff, and I was like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what what's wrong with me? Yeah, I don't I don't I I didn't understand it. But um, and then I'm seeing like Twilight Garrison. I think we're getting away from the question, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hammer of Soul. I actually think it's in a fine place right now. I don't know about mm -hmm. you guys. I, I think we everyone was just spoiled that it was so good. Yeah. And now yeah. it's at a normal level. Yeah. Because I, I feel like I still get killed by it, but I feel like I'm not being killed with four other people at the same time with it. Yeah. You know? Um, but then I still feel like when I use it, I can still kill people. It is harder to kill people because the tracking is not as good. Yeah, and it has to be, like, right on them. Yeah, you don't I, really. yeah, I feel like you just can't, like, chuck the hammer across the map anymore and get a kill. You have to you have to be there, you know? Yeah. But I think that's fine. And and honestly, their KD is still good. Like, yeah. across all modes, except for Trials of Osiris, and in Rumble, it seems like they are really bad in Rumble for some reason. Yeah, I noticed. Um, it's like... Yeah, it's like a huge dip. Um... Other than that, it seems like they're they're in a pretty good spot. They're really yeah. good in Rift. I haven't I haven't used Sunbreaker lately. I've been using the Defender. Yeah, and I'm in a Defender. 
Yeah. I, uh, just... well, last night I had, cause my Sunbreaker's maxed and, uh, my subclasses on my, uh, my alts are not maxed out. Like my Warlock is. So I've been playing okay. with them and I was playing Striker and I fell in love, man. Striker Titan is so much fun. I feel like it's on the rise too. It is. It got buffed um, with the patch because I think it was it was kind of hurting, and now it's like ever. I see everyone using. Yeah, I've Fist seen a of bunch Havoc. of people using it. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially in control, Fist of Havoc rocks because you just see someone capturing your zone and you just <laughs> run in there and just stop yeah. that nonsense yeah. thing, right? <laughs> and uh, and lightning grades, grenades, grenades oh, yes. are always great. The lightning yeah. grenades are great. Yeah, I I do really like Striker Titan, and I. Uh, I've been using like Helm of Inmost Light, and I was confused because um, I when I because I had never played Striker Titan before, and I was confused when I would jump in the air and activate my super. How I was like aiming and stuff, and I was like, "What is yeah. happening?" And then, I, <laughs> and then I realized what was like what was happening. I'm like, "Oh!" And then I got actually like sometimes I would aim it, and other times I wouldn't. Like if I was in like a good position, I would aim it, and uh, and I got like pretty good at deciding which to do. But yeah. Um, I, I think it's I think it's fine, I, and I think the nerf, since the nerf, and this is good because since the nerf, it's like it's still good, but I actually feel like the others are good too. You yeah. know, it's not like everyone's yeah. just running hammers, like Noah's running defender, and that's yeah. super good. Like I loved seeing the bubble pop up on B; it made me feel safe. Yeah, and then, <laughs> other than other than just so much like so many orbs in the bubble right there, yeah, and right, you just have your super again. Yeah, and then and then I was running striker, which I had never done, and and I still feel like yeah, I saw ha like when I would see hammers, they could still kill well. Like a uh, like Matt, who we were playing with, would run hammers mm -hmm. and he would get kills with it. Yeah, but the, yeah, but he was he was complaining mostly like this like this nerf was horrible. Like the whole time he was using hammers, mm. every single time he popped, he was like, they really did, like nerf hammers. But, yeah, yeah it's just got to so adjust insane. the place. It's probably just because of the change. Yeah. Like it used to be this, this like class that everybody should use, and now it's kind of turned into yeah. You were the like lightning scolded. Hands you were scolded if you didn't yeah. have your hands out. <laughs> yeah. It's funny too because I had heard um, on that episode of Crucible Radio, which listeners, if you if you haven't listened to Crucible Radio and you play a lot of Crucible, you should listen to it. It's a great yeah, show. It's really good. Um, they had the uh, they interviewed somebody from Bungie. I can't. Wisniewski, yeah, Wisniewski, um, yeah. and they were saying that like Defender Titans have a really low KD in the Crucible, but uh, the win rate of teams that have a Defender Titan is like higher than all mm -hmm. other teams. Mm -hmm. And then it, it got me thinking because I didn't thought about it. Like every single class has sort of a support loadout that they can run, yeah, basically. And I was like, wow, I never really thought about that. Cause like uh, when I would when I was doing normal King's Fall, I was basically supporting like I would have light beyond or, or yeah light beyond Nemesis on, and I would run Sunsinger, and I would always be the person like reviving because I knew like oh I'm gonna revive faster, mm -hmm. and I help generate orbs and stuff, and it was, and it worked out really well. You can't really do that in hard mode unfortunately, which is mm -hmm. like a. A, yeah. a cool question for another time about revives <laughs> in hard mode, but. Um, yeah, I, it got me thinking about that. I I also am interested in seeing like a healing class, but I don't think that'll ever happen. No. Yeah, I'm always a fan of healing in any game, but I I can't see it happening. Oh, this. you yeah. play the you you play the healer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't know if it would actually ever come to Destiny. It's an interesting thought, though. Like I've never actually considered it <laughs> yeah i think someone on the subreddit actually wrote out like an entire healing subclass for warlocks like with a super oh. and what the grenades would be and like how all the perks would work and i was like man this oh, is insane cool. yeah i i don't know if you guys um played division or like the alpha was out the other um, I, I think last month the there's like a med kit that you could like toss and it's basically just a, a grenade and i think that is pretty interesting that could happen yeah if, yeah if, at least they just have like a grenade that heals people and then yeah. it's just another super yeah. yeah yeah my idea was like maybe they add two more subclasses one for light and one for mm. darkness 
Oh, yeah. And cool. basically the light subclass for like warlock would be like maybe the super is like an aura that's similar to the aura that's in King's Fall, except it's not an immortality aura. It's like a healing aura. So you activate it, and then for like 12 seconds or something, you have an aura that heals people or gives them small bursts of overshield or something. Yeah, yeah like a movable bubble. Yeah, and then you can basically people can stay in that bubble. It'd be really good in like control and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, my other idea was, like, you throw, like, your grenade would just be, like, this ball of light that you throw in wherever it lands. It's, like, this little, basically, like, the lightning grenade, except if somebody stands next to it, it heals them. So you could throw it at people and, like, heal them yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was like, man, that would be really cool. I just don't see it ever happening. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I could, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing the exploits already, but. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. People running like Crota solo, just using auras and <laughs> yeah. not dying. And yeah, did you ever see that video of the guy? He took an exotic sword into a bunch of stuff, and he tried to see what he could survive. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he blocked Oversoul. <laughs> that was oh so yeah. Funny. Oh man. Um, I love that kind of stuff. But um. Anyway, this next one is and it kind of links back to what we were talking about with packs coming up and stuff um justin Keita asks what is your dream content for destiny and what are your guesses this second year will bring so if somebody wants to start um, off I'll start what is it, your guess. dream content ship combat i'm with you yeah <laughs> instantly really yeah. yeah um it would just it would just be so cool yeah it'd it be would, like even if it was SRL and we tried it for mm -hmm. like that week or whatever, just like just to see how it was. Right. Yeah, I, it would be interesting, like if it was a thing like SRL where they're like, "Hey, uh, you know, it's 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 around for a month or you know yeah. around for a week or something, and you do these like ship battles against the mm -hmm. the fallen fleets or something." Oh my! Right? Dude, you know, you're, you're getting me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get excited. It's not real. Um, the fallen fleets. Oh. Yeah, and um, yeah, and it, I mean, because Bungie does have a history of this too, which is why a lot of people kind of expect it. You know, they uh, they did ship battles in Halo Reach. Uh, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, Halo Reach had like a ship combat section in it, and. Um, I I mean if they just if they just did that again, I think that would be cool. Yeah. And you could even do two different versions. Like I said, you could do the like PVE version where like maybe it's like a it's a strike that you can run. And, oh um, yeah. Yeah, and there's like maybe multiple levels of it, or there's it's just PvP, like you yeah. fly in and you just shoot each other. Um, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want like ships to have their own stats though. I'd want those to be skins. <laughs> Because, yeah, yeah. Like, I really love my Vault of Glass ship. And I would be sad if, like, oh, that Vault of Glass ship's cool, but this other Taken King, you know, your Taken King challenge mode ship is just yeah. way yeah. better. That happens way too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would want, like, the ship to be a skin, and then you just basically, like, you get loot that's, like, the, uh, you know, this is the armor coating. Yeah, like shed. some like a core or something. Yeah, this is the core. It runs it like runs faster than this one, or it's more durable. And then so, oh, these are um, you can either have like a laser gun or something that's more like bullets. Um, yeah, yeah. I would. We're already making the content. Yeah, for... here you go. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> here you go, Bungie. And then I'm sure they would sell ship skins. Sure yeah, of course. Everything. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Bring in the Millennium Falcon. I will oh, give you all no. my silver. Oh my gosh, hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> down the drain um, yeah this is an interesting thing like uh, they said we're not getting any DLC packs this year but well yeah they said that like no paid DLC packs but there's going to be a big oh, okay. content patch mm -hmm. at some point and I'm wondering if the content patch will be something like Dark Below esque mm -hmm. level patch you two know? I feel like they almost need it to keep people staying. Like, so many people are dropping off. Right. You still play this game? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Even somebody asks, Does people still play yeah. this? I was like, um, yeah, I, I, you know what I would like? It'd be cool 
is if um, instead of just like throwing out all the content day one um, mm. and then you can just do it all and then and then the next day everybody on the subreddit's like that wasn't enough what's what's next right mm -hmm. it'd be cool if uh, the content patch was just like a staggered release so like one like the first week it happens you get the one story mission and then you do yes. that story mission and then the next week it's like the next story mission and then the week after that's the next one and then the week after that maybe it's a strike and then the week after yeah. that it's another story mission and then the week after that it's a raid you know it's like yeah, watching a show on tv exactly instead of watching a netflix show <laughs> yeah so then you're yeah. excited like oh the new mission's coming out like, right I'm excited right. to play it yeah or you could wait till the end and just binge it all <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly like yeah because then by the time the raid comes out you can just play it all Mm -hmm. um yeah i i think they're on to something with like the staggered releases but i'm i don't think the um like the way paradox kind of works and the way the sleeper simulant thing kind of works i don't like where it's like yeah on this date and time like you have to be here yeah or you i'm don't get it. still so confused how everybody found that all, all those ghosts for I don't no, know. no time to explain oh. i don't know either but yeah yeah um we're at 46 minutes. We, we can afford one more question, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jamie Bromey. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. B-R-O-O-M-E. Bromey? Yeah, I guess. All right, sure. Um, he asks, what do you feel needs the most improvement within the game? Service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um... It's interesting. Custom lobbies. What'd you say? Yeah, custom lobbies. Yeah. Oh, custom lobbies. Yeah. Um. It's funny because I, I want people to get their custom lobbies, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm never gonna use it. I was I was thinking like literally I think it was yesterday, how like I this whole time I've been wanting these custom lobbies, but then I realized that they can't like carry experience over to custom lobbies because that just promotes boosting. Yeah. So if my friends are all playing these custom lobbies over and over again, just practicing or whatever, I can't join them if I want to level something up. So I don't. I'm not sure. But right. for the com competitive community, like they definitely need these custom lobbies. Oh yeah, because I I didn't even know that there's like a whole community of people running tournaments and stuff. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Like, How? I guess they're just queuing. It'd be cool if time. like. Yeah, the way it works. Oh no, you can go ahead. Oh, I was just saying that, like in these custom games, you could or lobbies, you could be like only some, like only people could be using like No Land Beyond or right, Galahorn or whatever. Just like that'd like, be fun. See. Yeah. Yeah. But the way the the matching works for like tournaments and stuff uh, is, uh, you find the person that's closest to the other, like to the enemy team. So like if I I live in Chicago and like someone on the other team lives in Chicago we become the party hosts and then we sync at the same time and you basically mm. back out until you're matched. It takes a while. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, they need to just... I mean, I, I'm not somebody who is going to do custom lobbies like at all. And I'm also wondering if that's just... Try it. Is that just the limitation because of the, uh, like the older consoles? Like, is there just not enough memory or... Something. It could it could be just they like just a, their out. servers because like if they're already having lag on their servers, I can't imagine being able to open up all these extra lobbies. Yeah. Well, I thought that it used like a peer to peer system. I yes, thought, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, I was like, so then it wouldn't necessarily be like running on the server, right? So true, true. But then, yeah, but if you have dedicated servers, like it doesn't necessarily fix the lag it just changes it so it's just like if you have crappy internet then you're gonna have a crappy connection to the dedicated server i think the problem is that like um sometimes the like peer-to-peer -peer can be weird where like you'll have really good internet but you'll still have a red bar because yeah, right yeah, yeah. because p other like, people like what i was doing doing. what like every single or every single I, I, i've been a game i was always red bar yeah, it was. It's weird. 
how it works. Yeah, I would have games where it's like everything's totally fine, everything feels responsive and great, and then I have other games where it's like everyone is a red bar, and I'm like, what is happening? Yeah. Um, and like the whole thing where some if someone else is lagging, they're like a crucible god, but when I'm lagging, I I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and there's, like, people running into walls, and you're stabbing them over and over yep. and over again, and then all of a sudden you die. You're like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There was, a, there was a clip on the subreddit, I think two days ago, where the guy lags in Iron Banner and just runs off of the map. Oh, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> it was so My funny. people need me, though. Everybody waved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was great. Um, yeah, I, I, they, I would like if they fixed it, and they... I, I don't know how they could detect cheaters, but I wish they could find it. I will say, though, I haven't really seen, like, any super game-breaking bugs in Crucible. Mm. And I have a lot oh, of yeah. time in Crucible. Like, uh, when I was really big into Gears of War 2, there were all kinds of, like, these little exploits that people pulled off. And, like, you could get inside of these, like, trains where you couldn't be shot, but you could shoot people. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, there was the the bubble train, which was pretty cool, but I haven't seen it happening. Where you have multiple bubble titans popping it and just moving around the map because you keep getting your super back so quickly. Oh, wow! The that sounds, bubble train. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. You just have six bubble titans. Yeah. 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 The video, it was a long time ago, but the video, uh, it was five bubble titans and then a golden gun, and it was pretty oh entertaining. Oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So just somebody with a golden gun would pop out and just kill people, and they would just yeah. keep getting their super. Oh, my God, dude. That's insane. I want to. Does that still That's work? That's a great strategy. I, I haven't seen anything saying they nerfed it in any way. I just think it's... I mean, it's not fun. It's cool to watch. It's entertaining, but I don't think it's that fun to just keep doing right. it. You know? Yeah, like unless you really want to win that Iron Banner match. Right, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm right on the edge. Um, yeah, it's it's funny. I love that. Like, there's all these tools that people can get super creative with. Um, yeah. Like something I had never done, and and I did it recently in King's Fall. Was like when all those thrall come to the middle. Like, someone shoots a tether, and then you have a Radiance Warlock, like, throw a grenade in there, and it just creates, like, a ton of orbs. Yeah. I had never, I'm like, whoa, like, blew my mind. I'd never thought of that before. But, um, yeah, I think that's all for our questions. Is there anything else you guys want to bring up before we wrap up the show? Uh, what, what class does everyone play? Oh, yeah. Um, I think we actually have a good diversity here. I'm a Warlock. Yeah, I'm a I'm a defender titan, and I'm a hunter. So <laughs> <There you go. laughs> kind of wraps off. Yeah, I've been a warlock since alpha because uh, yeah. when I was reading all the classes, I read warlock and I said I could be a space wizard. Of course, I want to do that. So uh, <laughs> did you come from the moon. Yeah, I did, and uh, yeah, I uh, I've never kind of strayed. I have alts, um, but I didn't have alts until taking king. Yeah, same. Um, mm. Because I was I, like, I don't understand how people can run three characters. I have a hard enough time running one, and then I got to the start, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I could run a second, and I used my spark of light on my titan, and then mm -hmm. and then played I, with her and stuff. I started Warlock um, from day one, and I, I saw like the uh, helm of Saint fourteen on a bunch of tit uh, other titans, and I was like, man, I want that helmet. Like, it'd be so cool, and. Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually start maining Titan until Taken King, but I had all my alts in place before House of Wolves, so I'm a tryhard, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I do. Uh, some people don't like that home, and I think it's cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. And it, blinding people, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think, uh, like, it, it just it looks so different than, like, all the other helmets. For sure, yeah. yeah. At least, well, the yeah. warlock helmets are always like skulls and shit, but like all the titan helmets are always these weird glass-looking things. But that one just looks so different, and it, mm -hmm. it's like this cool Roman kind of. 
thing. It's really cool. It's what I imagine, like, if we ever get that Cabal raid where, where everyone talks about. It's how I imagine, like, some of the gear would look coming out of that raid. But yeah. that's a Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think about cool, Cabal gear. Yeah. I just imagine yeah. it would be all kind of Roman-esque looking and stuff. And mm -hmm. That'd be super cool. I want a warlock helmet that has like the toga, like leaf crown thing. Yeah, so that would be super cool. Oh my god, yes! Just a toga. I want to nova bomb people in a toga. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be super cool. Anyway. Classic space gear. Yeah. For sure. yeah. <laughs>